Well, morning folks, day two. So this is where I stayed last night, Coal River Inn. There we go, in West Virginia. It's budget, but do you know what? It did the job. For like 40 odd quid, can't complain. Oh, think of what, one, two, three? Yeah, so the route this morning, or the route today, is gonna take me through uh, West Virginia, and then down into North Carolina. Where I'm aiming for tonight is a place called Mount Airy. Let's go. Drive on the right, drive on the right. So, as you can see, the weather gods are having a bit of fun. I switched on the TV this morning about seven o'clock when I woke up to be hit with the weather forecast and they were talking about snow and I just thought, no, don't do that to me because I've just canceled my hotel for Daytona because I had two nights in a hotel booked down at Daytona Beach and I had such a great time yesterday that I just thought, nope, I am going to play in the mountains. But yeah, and then I wake up to this. <laughs> Whoever it is that is in charge, they've got a sense of humour. I'll give you that. Well played. Oop. That overbanding is very slippy in the wet here. It's 54 degrees. What's that in normal money? Uh, whoa, that was squirrely. Ooh. Road closed. Oh dear. Let's see if it is or not. This is getting quite agricultural. Now this was me plotting this route. I've chucked in some waypoints to make Cali go this way. Ah, that is not gonna happen. Alrighty then. Please don't snow. Just please don't snow. Ooh, railroad crossing. This is cool. And there's the bridge. Yep, that's snow up there. I think this, <laughs> this is the scenic lookout. <laughs> oh good, deep gravel. So we can't get through there, so how do we sort that? Bear with me, I'll figure this one out. Let me pause, have a look at this route. So I only need up there, so I could literally, I can go up to the next exit. Okay, that's what I'll do. Because I just need, there you can see that road going right, that's the one I need. So I'll just get back on the main, come up here, take the next exit. Let's drop a waypoint. That should be number one. Number one, bosh. See how easy that is to do, folks? A lot of the time, not always I know, but a lot of the time, the moans and gripes I get in comments and stuff, it's user error. Like, it's just people don't know how to do stuff. So I take the blame for some of that, because I should be doing the content to show you how to do it. That's how easy it is to amend routes and stuff on here. Right, I'll get back on the main, I'll get over there, and you can join me back on the twisties. Let's do it. <laughs> Such a mix of houses here. There's literally like wooden shacks and then and then quite big posh homes. Real mix. God, my missus would love it out here. The yards are just full of, you know, like old junk, rusting cars and just old stuff. My missus is, uh, she's a picker. <laughs> you, ever, you ever watch that? I can't remember what they call it. Is it American Pickers or something? We're a couple of pickers from Iowa. Uh, that that is my wife's like top program. She loves it. You'd enjoy this, dear. Look, as soon as I say that, you come to it. This is like the first immaculate house <laughs> I've seen. All the others had loads of junk in the front. Oh well. Back onto these beautiful roads. I don't care if it's raining. Just please don't snow. Just please don't snow. This engine's gorgeous. Sounds like one of those big trucks. Even the Americans have sort of looked back a few times. Okay, now again, this is my route. This isn't Cali Motors, speed limit 40. Okay, cookie. I used a website, some of you guys actually put me onto this, so thank you very much. Well, it was actually a YouTube channel. I think it was Greatest Roads or Great Riding Roads or something like that. I'll put a link on the screen now and there'll be a link down in the video description. The channel's really good. They basically go by state to state and give you the top riding roads in that state. But if you go to the website, it's literally categor categorised by state. So you can just, like, I'm in West Virginia, click West Virginia and it'll give you like a Google map 
with all the best roads on it and then obviously a link to the any YouTube vids they've done on it it's really good so I use that to plot quite a bit of this trip I'll go thank you You just can't go wrong up here in the mountains, can you? Just look at the roads. They just flow beautifully. Right, you're gonna get bored of this because we've got this all day, I think. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, look at it down there. Oh. Just filled up with fuel. That's almost, well, just under four gallons. I think I had about 45 mile range left. This cost me $16, $16.16. $16. Cheapest chips. Uh, a lot of the time it's prepay here. So if you can't work the machine there, just go inside. People often look at you, well, they do me. They look at me the way my wife looks at me a lot of the time. <laughs> Utter amazement, like, what did you just say? But they're polite and pleasant. Barbers, oh. I love those American trucks. All right, full tank of gas. Let's hit the road. Ooh, time. This is the 60, 60, I think, heading east and south. Lovely road. It's a shame there's so much mist and rain. I'd love to put the drone up on some of these bits. See where these uh, old bridges and stuff are going over the river. I'd love to put the drone up and show you, but I just can't when it's raining and misty like this, there's just no point. But we've got more time, folks. We've got about another week to go. Another three or four days up here in the mountains at least. And I tell you, the weather does seem to be easing at the moment. I'm gonna regret saying that, aren't I? <laughs> what a fantastic road. And here's us over in uh, the UK thinking America doesn't know what a corner is. I tell you what, they certainly do. Feels like these roads were built for driving or riding. They're amazing. God, we're not even on the big hitter roads yet. These are just normal standard roads. I think I start the Blue Ridge Parkway, it's either today or tomorrow. But just about everybody said, you gotta do the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I am. I heard from Chase, Chase on two wheels this morning. Sadly, he's not gonna be able to meet up, that's a shame. I'm aiming for Mount Airy tonight, which is um, over in the west of North Carolina. I don't care if it's raining. This is awesome. I'm in the 16 headed south. Look at the river over there, through the trees, wow. It's like something out of the Covenant. <laughs> I like how they do that here. Loads of the bridges are all named after service personnel who've sadly lost, lost their lives. Just acknowledging them. Sad that they have to, but it's nice that they do it. This engine. Beautiful. This is a really nice bike, folks. Big surprise for me. Lots of you told me to, to ride the Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Pro. It's fantastic. It really is good. It's not intimidating at all. I mean, keep in mind, I'm 6 foot 3, 20 stone, but it, it sort of has the appearance of a small bike. But it's not a small bike, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't feel big on this at all. But it feels pretty light to move around. Very neutral riding. A bit like the 1300GS. You know, the weight feels sort of right in the middle. Giving a lovely neutral feel when riding. You know, it's not like the, the big 1200 that feels pretty top-heavy and lumbering to me. Or the 1200, 1250GSs 
where all that weight is really low down so they sort of act a bit like a, a weeble sometimes beautiful for turning into corners but then to get them to go that little bit further when you pick up the pace with the big GS's you kind of have to muscle them in a wee bit this is lovely very nice right we're just away to cross something called the new river gorge bridge and it's supposed to be beautiful to look at so i'm going to i've plotted a route to come back around there's some viewing points along here and we'll stop and get a look at what we're just going over just now blimey we're up in the gods here I wanted to fly the drone. When I stop, I'll have a little look. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fly the drone if this rain is heavy. We'll see. Look at that. Wow. Do you know what, bugger it? I think I'm going to put the drone up. to get the drone up hopefully got a little bit of footage it's quite hard to see much mist everywhere I've just changed all the batteries in the cameras and I saw that the helmet cam has started to mist up it's really annoying that with the GoPro when you use the media mod it obviously makes the camera not 100% waterproof anymore so some moisture seems to be able to get in and then it just starts I think with the heat with the batteries and all that sort of stuff it just starts to mist up the lens that's why you end up getting a sort of halo around the view that you guys are getting so I've given it a wipe hopefully it's cleared it up a bit for you I'm just loving these roads absolutely loving these roads you don't even need to ride them quick, you know, like, even at the speed limits, these roads are really entertaining. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I've not had a McDonald's in America yet, on this trip. <laughs> Ooh, railroad crossing. Hi. This is cool. And there's the bridge. New River Gorge Bridge. I'm glad I made the effort to come here. It's quite a significant detour, but I'm glad I did. Soon come up one, two, three. Yep, that's snow up there. <laughs> Look at the line in the sky, that dark line. Wow, that's a Back there, that was really, really prominent. It looks horrendous. Where we've come from is really dark and horrible. Although looking in, no it's not. Speaking out my bum, looking in the mirror, it looks quite bright over there. It looks quite bright over there. So it's just this line here. <laughs> Seems to be following us. Typical. It's not raining at the moment though. Famous last words. Cut to blizzards. This is more like it. This is a nice road. Which is this? The 16 and the 19. 19. It's the 19 south. This is awesome. Even in the wet, it's great fun. Love these backcountry roads. Ooh, is it this right? Yeah, it is this right. Stovel Ridge Road. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Right, just trying to keep my eye up ahead for any trucks coming this way. There's not much room in these roads. These roads feel so much narrower. <laughs> now I've got used to the big American wide roads. God, the Americans must come to the UK and just think we're travelling on, like, horse cart. Our roads are so narrow compared to theirs. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I smell the wood burning as well. Love it. Ooh, for sale. Here we go, wife, let's move here. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that place. Wow. I bet these old buildings can tell some stories, eh? Folks, I'll leave uh, links in the description for my route over on Kalimoto. If you haven't got Kalimoto, folks, and you fancy giving it a bash, drop me an email, info at teapot1, or DM me on uh, Instagram, something like that, and I can send you a code for a month's free trial of the full premium package, or I can give you a code for 20% off. Give it a bash, see what you think. Think about one, two, three. I love this country. I've just stopped because I needed to change some batteries and I got a wee bottle of sploosh, some Mountain Dew and I was changing the batteries and this gentleman in that truck stopped and he came over to me with an umbrella and he said, excuse me sir, would you like this while you're working? How cool is that? <laughs> I love this country. Oh well, my phone's nearly out of power because uh, it won't charge off the bike because it says it can detect liquid. I can't see any liquid. I've dried it with a cloth, but apparently it detects liquid, so it won't charge my iPhone. So that could be fun. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Oh, bloody typical. Keys. Allard and his common bikes. Keys, I need keys. Oh dear. Muck that up, didn't I? I think this, <laughs> this is the scenic lookout. <laughs> oh well, I'd like to be able to see. Never mind scenic lookout. Virginia. So we were in West Virginia, and we're now in Virginia. We're heading south, eventually into North Carolina. We've got 93 miles to Mount. Mount Airy, where I'm aiming to stop for tonight. I don't care if it's raining. Life is good, folks. People are just so polite. They're so nice. Yeah, I could live here. I could live here. God, imagine having all these roads on your back doorstep. Oh, you're lucky people if you live out here. It's just been two days of amazing biking roads. I knew you had some gems stateside, but uh, wow. They're every bit as good as the ones we get in Europe. And we've not even got to the big hitters yet. Blue Ridge Parkway tomorrow. Still got Tale of the Dragon to come. The Chero, Chero Hala, Hala, Hala Skyway, that's coming. Oh, there's loads, loads. Rocky Gap. Ah, I remember that on the map. Rocky Gap Fire and Rescue. Right, I managed to get the phone to charge. I had to use a different cable, a new cable. It still detected liquid, it said, but it gave me the option to override. So that's what I've done, because I was in the red with power. Slight issue. But yeah, look, the stonking roads continue. I think this is a, is this the 5? Hang on, 52 or something? I'm sure there was a 5 in it. Fifty-two. The 52 Seth. Car 5, this is saying that we'll get there. And then we just need to find a motel or something. I think Mount Airy is reasonably big, so hopefully should have some motels and hotels to choose from. I'm not doing this trip on a shoestring, but I don't want to spend a heck of a lot of money. It's mostly on the credit card, this trip. <laughs> we'll worry about paying for it afterwards. You lot just need to watch the vids for me. If you could watch each vid about 96,000 times, that'll be awesome. Thanks very much. I'll tell you what though, I'm, I'm, glad, I brought, I'm glad I brought my rocker. Wow. Yesterday was just passing, you know, drizzle, a little bit of uh, rainstorms at one stage throughout the day but most of the day was fairly reasonable I could have got away I think with my road skin jeans and hoodie with just like a you know a waterproof jacket over the top 
Now today has been sustained fairly substantial rain at times I'm glad I've got the rocker It's been pretty chilly too I think I saw 49 at one point Just loving Appalachia so many of these little roads off to the side, you know, dirt tracks and some tarmac, but most just dirt tracks off to the side. You, you wonder to yourself, ooh, I wonder where that goes. <laughs> I'm sure that's what those people thought, the ones that are in the films, that end up getting skinned alive. <laughs> wow, look at the size of that bird. Two of them. Is that a crow? Jeez, it was huge. Now I've got the Insta. 360 Ace Pro cameras. I've got them to test. I suppose I should really use them tomorrow, at least for some of tomorrow. It's always a bit nerve-wracking using another another camera setup, folks, because you know you just you're never sure is the audio gonna be okay, is the is the video footage gonna be alright. My only complaint with the Insta Ace Pro so far is that the, the field of vision, the vertical field of vision, isn't as good as the GoPros. It cuts out either up here or down there for you. With the GoPro, the GoPro gives you a lovely big wide field of vision, vertically and horizontally. And the other thing with the Ace Pro is I noticed that the, the audio off of the mic, my lav mic, seemed a little bit muffled. And you don't get the sort of ambient engine noise either. See, the GoPro picks up that ambient engine noise lovely. And I like the way the, the GoPro audio is. But I'll try, I'll try tomorrow. Okay, so this is the camera setup I've got with the Ace Pro. So you can see there's the mic adapter, it's on the side there. So that's meant I've had to do a bit of an extension wrap around here and then I just use that silicon putty to hopefully try and weather tight these connections. It is a baptism of fire for this setup. We'll see how it copes. That's pretty good with the screen. I like the big screen, but then, you know, I could see what I was doing with the GoPro, but that's a much bigger screen, that. Now, Insta have told me that that is totally weatherproof. And they also don't think there should be a, any issues with riding along and wind turbulence against, against it. That's tightened up, we'll see. You see what I mean? Like you don't get as big a vertically as wide a shot as you do with the GoPro. So we'll see. Right, the GoPros were playing up. Step forward, the Insta360 Ace Pro. Now it says I've got 48 mile range of fuel, it's 49 miles to Mount Airy, so we'll see. Oh, this looks an interesting road. <laughs> well, apparently it is a road, so we'll see. Oh, straight away, look, that just falls back. Mind you, the GoPro's done that, so I can't hold that against it. Right, mode, let's chuck this in. Rain, no. Ah, uh, you've got to you've got to be stationary to put it in off road, I believe. Right. Okay. Let me. So road sport off road off road pro. No idea what off road pro is, but let's put it in that. We've been to Morocco, don't you know? We must be pro. Right. That's really annoying. That's constantly falling back. Nice big flashing lights on these to let you know it's recording. I like that, you can see that there. That's really annoying how it keeps flipping down. That's tightened up as hard as I can do it by hand. And it just falls down really easily. Be interesting to see how their sort of hyper smooth or whatever they call it deals with the bumps and vibrations. The GoPro does really well with its hyper smooth or whatever it's called. How does the audio sound when I'm talking? Does it sound muffled? Because that's what I remember it sounded like when I did the UK tests. You tell me. I won't know till I listen tonight. Actually, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing tonight, isn't it? It's going through this footage, having a look to see if it's worth me uh, doing more on this on this trip. That is really annoying, obviously. 
Oh good, deep gravel. Awesome. This was me as well, this wasn't Cali, this was me. Good move, Bruce. Wow, it's a deer. Look at the deer. Hello, deer. It's two deer. It's half a deer, that, half a deer. Well, we can ride the rocks and sand of Morocco, I can deal with this. You're not singing anymore. Right, one thing I want to test is does the uh, Ace Pro, is it picking up the comms channel as well? So let me just play some music. So that's some music playing in the background. Can you hear that? Right, that'll do for copyright. Oh, that's really annoying. Even on the road, it's falling forward all the time. I'm just going to let this run because it says about an hour till we get there. Will I let it run? Yeah, we may as well let it run. Let's just see how much, um, how long the battery lasts on this. I did it against the GoPro and it lasted a good hour. It well outperformed the GoPro. Oh, I just heard a beep, beep, beep. No, no, it's still recording. I get phantom like GoPro beep, 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 beep. You know, when the camera just stops working. I hear that all the time when I'm out on the bike. <laughs> I do feel like you're much more towards me on this camera. When I was changing these cameras over from the GoPros, I had a nightmare. I had to take the SD cards out the GoPros and put them into the Ace Pro. Well, I took the SD card out of the uh, helmet one, but it pinged out. And I was literally stood at the side of the road in a grass verge. And this thing just went ping and it ejected out of the GoPro. I was like, oh my God, where's that gone? Because I had all the footage from today on it. So I was like staring down around my feet, then moving my feet, trying to make sure I didn't stand on it. And I just had to keep scouting out and out and out. And eventually I found it right next to the road, literally lying right on the edge of the road. I just jumped on here because, uh, you know, it's getting starting to get a bit dark. I'm cold and, to be honest, I just want to get there now. So we've only got 30 miles to go. So I've just chucked it on fastest route. It'll also test the audio setup at higher speeds on the Insta. See, always thinking. And I was wondering how this would do, you know, with the flip screen at the back. For the bike, I'd actually prefer if the Ace Pro had the LCD, just a basic LCD, it doesn't need to be touch screen or anything, but just a basic one to show you what your framing's like, like the GoPro has to be honest, and it's also got the LCD at the back, so for this camera in particular, I can tell at a glance, I wouldn't need to have that up, I could have that down and just look at this, and that would tell me if uh, I'm framed right or not. I say I'm well impressed with this bike for canyon carving like what we've been doing it's beautiful and I imagine if you like the, um, the off-road stuff like a bit of the dirt it's a nice size bike for that as well well this is nice isn't it folks lovely this is where I'm glad I invested in good kit it's not letting me down rock up I shouldn't have said that I'll never learn well I never learn formerly boost smart that zoomed in. I didn't zoom you in. Oh, interesting. I can't actually see. Oh, this has made it interesting, hasn't it? 19 miles to go. Just tick him off. When it gets like this, folks, you either find somewhere and stop, or you just go canny and just grind out the miles, tick them off, Arrive alive, as they used to say in the old bill. Arrive alive. Hopefully that's us through it. Seems to be clearing up up ahead. Oh look, you've zoomed in again. That's nice. I like the way it's doing that. I haven't touched that. I got off. And seeing the footage, that's not me that's zoomed in. It's just zooming in. That must be the rain. Zooming in off its own accord. Awesome. And again, there you go. Right, let's shut that back. I wonder if it's done it again. Let's do it without that flip screen. Hopefully it deactivates the flip screen. And then hopefully the rain hasn't zoomed it in all the time. Batteries have gone orange now. Can't be too long. 
Hey, North Carolina. Woo-ha! Oh, a state trooper. Now, because I'm not using that flip-up screen, I've got no visual now to know about framing, so I'm sort of assuming that would be about right. Keeps jumping out of second gear. It's done that a few times. Okay, that's that one stopped. This one's still going. That one stopped because of the battery. Be able to see if there's any file corruption issues. The GoPro sometimes, the GoPro sometimes uh, corrupt the file if the battery runs out. The helmet cam's still going though. Must be a good hour. I'll put up on the screen now how long that lasted, and I'll do the same for the helmet cam. Now. I'm meeting somebody this morning. Oh. Guess who it is? Look at that. <laughs> wow. Just stunning. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I stopped and checked that. This is a dead end road that just goes up a mountain. It's 63 miles, and I have 44 miles range. We better pass a petrol station. <laughs>